Well, this is always easier to make when we have some amazing games, and there are some on here that I've purchased this week that I didn't even know existed, and one was recommended from Glenn. It's absolutely incredible. There are also others that have never been on sale before, so I think it's going to make for quite a painful list for a few backlogs. Here's the winner of the free game from last week. To win a game, you just need to leave your comments down below, tickle the algorithm a little, and make sure you like someone else's comment so that it boosts the best ones to the top. All right, what are the best games on sale this week? Welp, let's find out. Kicking off then we have the Metro Redux bundle which includes Last Light and the base Metro Redux game and that's currently the ludicrous price of just £3.59, that's 85% off and includes both games, possibly two of the best first person shooter adventures that we've got on Switch and they have a horror twist to them as well. Now the Switch version does have full gyroscopic control, you're looking at those two full campaigns as well as all of the DLC. Easily, what, 20 to 30 hours of gameplay minimum and then if you want the completionist run you're looking at about 50. All of that for about 4 quid, yeah well less than 4 quid, absolute bargain, that one goes on until February the 18th. Now Project Downfall, we actually did a video on this last week, but it has a 30% sale at the moment until February the 23rd, and it's brilliant. Did any of you ever play Kingpin? Do you remember that back in the day? Amazing game, like quality. Now Project Downfall, I was expecting, based on the images, for it to be like a non-stop action, I don't know, you know, just like a non-stop action game, but actually it's much slower paced. So in between stages, you go back to your apartment, there are lots of different things, there's like an arcade cabinet you can play on, you can change your music, Music, you can talk to your girlfriend and then actually when you go out into the stages themselves sometimes there are different choices you can make and, and different paths that you can go down which will change the end game I wasn't expecting any of that then when you actually do get into combat there's much more strategy to it than meets the eye so you can kind of slow down time slide along do a few shots change weapons, throw one of them at the enemy's face and it has that flow that something like Ghost Runner had um, and I was just very much impressed with it. Now if that appeals to you as I say it does have a 30% discount until February the 23rd and it fits into just 2.2 gigs. Then we've got the amazing action game Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered which is 90% off down to £2.69 until February the 19th. If you played the original Red Faction this one's actually set 50 years after the events that took place there and you essentially take on the role of an insurgent fighter. Now he rocks up on Mars and he's looking for his brother and a few things happen and he ends up blowing up a load of buildings. Now what's very cool and it's just something that I haven't really seen since is that you can take like a satchel charge, rig, rig up a bridge and then say you're being chased just detonate the entire thing and it will come crashing down. The physics here are really impressive. The storyline is also massively underrated. Mars is quite a fun place to explore. It can be a little sparse but it is still there's some life there you know you see people driving around and kind of there are pedestrians going around some of the more residential areas. Really good game nice uh, climactic end as well. I, I did enjoy this one immensely and if I was able to pick it up for the first time at 90% off, I mean that is an absolute barjan. There's a physical of that one as well if you're a physical collector but it's you're not going to find it for that price I don't think. Saints Row the Third finally hits its lowest ever price, that one's 80% off until February the 18th, taking it down to £3.19. Now Saints Row was like the slightly unusual cousin of GTA back in the day and when this launched on Switch it was a state. Performance was not good at all and they patched it up many many times and it's actually fine now. Now this is the full package which includes all of the DLC that's ever been released and if you're itching for some GTA style action on Switch then yeah you could go a lot worse than this one. It does have online play for two, up to two players. I don't know if that's co-op, you'll have to let me know. I can't imagine it's competitive with just two of you and you can also link two Switches together. Saints Row then about 15 to 20 hours or about 50 hours if you want to do everything. Also if you've already got that one Saints Row 4 re-elected is on sale at 80% off down to £3.19. So yeah lots of choice. There is an insanely good price on King's Bounty 2 and I did say to one of you in the comments that I would mention this next time it comes up. 
but I didn't think it would be going down to 90% off. This is £3.49. Now what I will say, if you, if you want to support this developer, they actually have like a pack that includes all of the content for, I think it's like £4.99, but still, you don't need that. Now this is interesting. It's a mixture of RPG and tactical turn-based combat. I did point out that things like the animations are a bit janky, like the horse looks like it's, I don't know, partially made out of cardboard, and some of the animations, they look like me most mornings when I wake up and try and get out of bed. But the actual game is very good and you've got multiple uh, playable characters with their own storylines. The thing is, is you almost like build an army up. So like you might have some skeletons in your army, a few bears and then like some elves and humans. But you need to make sure that they can work well together. So like the elves might not want to work with the undead, which is kind of understandable. So you, uh, yeah. And if you don't do that, then they won't be able to fight effectively as a team. So there's there's some real depth in here. It's just the balancing was a bit wonky. And it was a, it was a little bit difficult. I say a little bit. It's very difficult in certain places. But uh, they have tweaked it quite a bit since it came out. And there is, if you can push through the difficulty, some really, really good gameplay in there. Now, King's Bounty 2, as I say, is 90% off until February the 19th. God's Will Fall is also 90% off until February the 18th. And that is a uh, £1.29. I really do love the premise of this one. Essentially, it's like you're a group of, um, they're almost like Norse. I don't even think they're heroes. I think they're just like survivors on the island that like rock up on the island. And every time you play, because it is, a, it does have roguelike elements, you can play as a new group that arrive on the island. And you've basically got to move between these lairs and defeat different gods. What's cool is like the combat's real-time action. And as you go through, if, if someone dies, basically you then have to go back and try and save them so they don't ever die they get captured but say like um the sister gets captured the brother in the group then goes crazy he might get like berserk strength and stuff and he'll be like i'm gonna go and avenge them but then if he dies then the rest of the group are gonna get severely disheartened so yeah there's some nice really cool ideas that they've put in there it's not all perfect and uh yeah i think there's quite a bit of tweaking they could have done to improve the whole thing but i still think at what one pound 29 you literally can't get a bar of fizzy popping candy for that so that is like yeah yes please one of my little pickups for the week then and unfortunately this one's only available in the eu regions in australia and it's called pig ship and the giant wolf and being a very very deep person i looked at the thumbnail and went oh i really like the look of that it reminds me of my game boy and uh that's about as deep as i get these days it's a classic arcade like shoot 'em up with uh some big old end of level bosses that don't follow the um that art style so you see that and you think okay it's game boy but then when you look at the the final bosses they're so detailed so yeah if you like something like r type and you really enjoy this kind of retro i don't even know what this style was called i, I did i did remember and then i forgot so yeah if you remember let me know it has classic online ranking boards so you can try and get the high scores but yeah it looks quality really good game not long like an hour two hours tops but yeah nice little loading game pick up and play happy days hogwarts legacy is the opposite of that doesn't need any introduction you know what it is you know what it's about it's a massive open world adventure game create your own character get yourself a cheeky broomstick and then like spend half your time just floating around the sky like a lemon it's 34 pound 99 in the uk it represents a 30 percent saving until february the 14th but it is a very impressive feat probably one of if not the most impressive feats we've got of porting games but there are big caveats things like the load screens into the town some of the load transitions into buildings like it takes a while so it's you know in that regard it's slightly nerfed but you can still you know get most of the experience you get elsewhere the sale for that one goes on until the 14th Then we've got a game that has literally just come out. It's Kona 2 Broom. Kona 1 originally came out way back and it was set in the uh, Canadian Tundra. It's a really interesting setting actually and that's also on sale. So if you haven't played that, pick it up. It's like, it's quite unnerving. You're going around in your car and anyway, I digress. But Kona 2 takes the storyline from the first game and continues it. So it's beneficial if you've played the first. Again, it has a similar setting, but it's a lot more polished this time around. There are like, you, you start off rowing into into the location you get shipwrecked or capsized I should say doesn't count as a shipwreck does it if it's a rowboat and then when you eventually find yourself on shore you conveniently land in a lodge uh, a little barn that you yeah that you're familiar with and, and you go from there now I was really impressed because you eventually get to the manor and it reminded me of like the original Resident Evil game just the way that you move around it 
visually it's quite impressive. It has that isolated feeling whilst also feeling like you're being watched at all times. You're picking up little notes and things and learning about the environment. For £12.49, like easily, easily a game that I'd be picking up. It represents a 50% sale until February the 18th and you're looking at about 8 to 10 hours to finish it. Now the Eastwood Octopia DLC is next up, that's just come out, it's 15% off and it's just £4.24 and I just reviewed this on the channel and it scored 90%, like it is incredible. If you own the base Eastwood game and have completed it or if you haven't, you can buy this Octopia DLC and it basically adds their version of Stardew Valley that you can access as a separate game menu from the main menu screen and it's brilliant. It is just outstandingly good and is, and I said it in the review, it's such a good example of a developer not being greedy. Like if this was its full price, £4.99, that's already about, I'd say, 300% cheaper than they could have charged quite happily for the amount of content here. It's about 20 hours long. But at four, yeah, at that price, like I am more than happy to recommend it at normal price, but even like launching it with a discount is slightly comical. It's like they are... Uh, I don't know, they're showing people how it should be done. So yeah, go check out our full review of that one if you want to, but steal it if not, like, pick it up. It's just an example of a developer not being greedy and providing some interesting DLC that actually completely changes the experience and is in fact just a completely new game that they've decided to tack on to the side. I, I think it may have made more sense to release this as a standalone game for like a tenner. Maybe they will, but yeah. Really good. Mato Anomalies is down at 85%. That's the cheapest it's ever been, down to £5.39. Now we have a review of this on the channel if you want to go check that out. I would say the game is a good 7 out of 10. It's not amazing, but it is actually quite interesting and takes a really unique approach to like the near future cyberpunk-ish, but like persona-ish as well. And you have two characters, one of them who is normal, in air quotes, and then the other who basically is like a dimension hopping samurai. And it's just a really interesting premise. Now the city itself is falling into disrepair, it's in a bad way, and it's based on old Shanghai. And those two protagonists, Do and Graham, basically work together, investigating strange anomalies, and there are side anomalies as well, so it's not just one main storyline. But it will see you jump to that alternate dimension and have to fight these weird creatures. Now I think enemy variety and stuff like that's a bit lacking, and that's where this one doesn't quite reach the, the levels of greatness that it could have done. But I think it's one of those that actually the sum of its parts are still good enough and certainly at an 85% discount. The sale on that one goes on until February the 18th. The US have a really, really good discount on Broken Lines, taking it down to $3.74. I'm a massive tactical turn-based RPG fan and this one, the story basically is that you and your squad crash behind enemy lines and it's an alternate history Eastern Europe. The aim of the game is for them to basically get back and along the way there are several different choices that you'll make and that will impact the endings of the game. There are multiple different endings to discover. There are lots of weapons that you'll be familiar with if you know your World War II history from the slightly more accurate M1 Garand to the Sten machine guns and then your units have their own personalities as well as traits so they have special abilities that they can perform. It's a good game. I, I really quite enjoyed it. I, I do like this. It is slower paced and it does suffer a little with feeling a tiny bit clunky at times but the choice system for me kind of elevated it and and the fact that they're they're real characters rather than just nameless soldiers as i say that one's only available in america on sale that's 85 percent off and that's until february the 12th One of my favourite survival games on Switch is The Long Dark and that's 50% off at the moment. This is such a good game, it really is. I love the art style, I love that kind of low poly but high detail. I always love a frozen setting, like if I'm put into these arctic tundras, I just find the atmosphere so enticing. I watched this YouTuber that basically like, um, he's kind of given up his entire life, he's only a young guy, like 18, 19, and he's, but he's basically fed up with life the way it was, and he's gone to build himself a cabin in Alaska. You might have seen it, it's called Betting on Alaska, go check it out. But 
there's something about the videos and I guess the risk of living in that kind of environment that makes it quite an enticing prospect to watch. And the same here, being put into this situation as a survivor and then finding this old abandoned town and kind of meeting the locals and some of them still live there and there's, there are those buildings and you know when you go to a place and you kind of look at it and it's all run down and you can't help but see what it once was in your mind. It has that feel to it and I find that very, very enticing. So yeah, The Long Dark, if you like survival and, and that sense of otherness might be a good one for you. The sale for that one goes on until March the 4th. The final two then before we look at a couple um, of physical releases actually because I think it's pointless having Savaloids because a lot of these are Savaloid prices and they're both games that I've picked up and played this week because I have severe problems. <laughs> the first of them is called Ritmos. I think that's how you pronounce it and it describes itself as a relaxing puzzle game where you create music by solving maze puzzles and I mean that's exactly what you do. It's like having these 20 different musical toys and they're based around these cubic planets and by creating these musical loops that you slowly evolve and build up you then solve these puzzles. It's incredibly clever and it saddens me that these kinds of games aren't more popular but I love them. Especially with that low poly art style, music can make such a difference to an experience and this has been brilliant. Now as I say this one is 50% off the moment, very small indie team, the sale goes on until February the 16th. If you enjoy that concept, that premise, then consider checking it out. Last but not least, then we have Cult Canyon. Now this recommendation comes from our Friday night gaming sessions and Glenn was like, oh, I bought this little game from Red Art Games, it's really interesting. And I was like, all right, all right, let's give it a go then. So we sat down, you know, put it on the projector, couple of controllers, couple of bean bags, couple of cups of tea. And my goodness, this game is amazing. Now I'm sad to say it's only on sale in the US regions. It's down to $3.74, but I bought myself an eShop card off of switchup.gg using our discount switch up and uh yeah you can just set up an american region and buy this but it's um a very interesting take on the roguelite so do you remember cannon fodder it kind of feels to me like that because it's like you don't have much health at all you, it's really accurate so it's like twin stick and you move from left to right through the stages um as you're moving through you're fighting people it has a stealth mechanics so you can like sneak up on people and take them out silently and in two-player co-op this is no joke one of the best games I've played in ages. In single player it's still hugely addictive and each run you like gradually unlock more weapons. You can pick up the pistols or the shotguns or the rifles or even the bow and arrows. I found this sweet bow and arrow that had like a um, poison, a poison attack so I'd shoot someone and then I'd just run off, hide in the grass and wait for them to perish. There are explosive barrels, there are chests, there are key cards that you can pick up to open things. It's amazing and I just had never heard of it until Glenn mentioned it and I was like wow this is a great game. Um, so yeah it was uh, published by Head Up Games and developed by I think they're called Retrific and as I say I think you can get a physical from Red Art Games so brilliant game well worth checking out and the physical is all on the cartridge as well so yeah if you're going to go that route then uh, happy days So then I wanted to mention a few physical sales for those people that enjoy physical games. We've got a few and a couple that I've picked up this week. Here in the UK, Monster Hunter Rise is 11 quid at game. Now that's a very, very good price for it. So yeah, consider that one. Digimon Survive is £10.95 at Amazon. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is 40% off here in the UK at game. And then in the US, you've got Sonic Superstars, which all, admittedly is not the best game in the world, but at $19.99. That is not too shabby. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this list. I've really enjoyed today because I like to find games that I don't have to speak about all the time. And there are a load in here that I haven't ever spoken about. And I think that is what a good list is all about, you know, finding those little gems. It might be painful for the, for the backlog, but it's fun and it's enjoyable to find new games. Let me know what you'll be picking up. As I say, leave your comments. I'll be giving away a copy of one of these games in the next video. Thanks to our Patreons, our members, all of you that enjoy the content. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep your Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!